Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. I'm going to give you a quick lesson in grounding, or what could also be called earthing. And the importance of this when we're working around electrical devices. So this is my workstation, computer, an answering machine that's plugged in, obviously, a desk lamp that's plugged in, and a printer. So I'm surrounded by electrical devices and to some degree my body is being exposed to electrical fields and what we have here is a voltmeter and for the purposes of this video I have a conductive silicon grounding pad right here plugged into this power strip and this is a grounding pad that I keep my feet on while I'm working so to set up the voltmeter so I can show you the efficacy of grounding when you're being exposed to electrical fields what I have here is I have a conductive stainless steel grip and I have put it in my pants against my skin because I only have two arms to use I would need four arms for this video so one part of the voltmeter is exposed to my skin and the other COM port of the voltmeter is also plugged into the ground here and so basically what you see is while I'm standing here my body voltage the by the way the the voltmeter is set to volts and then it's also set to AC and that's how you set one of these to test your body voltage so right now standing around these electrical fields my body voltage is 855 roughly millivolts now watch what happens to the meter when I put my hand next to the power strip where the AC electricity is going in okay I'm gonna to touch the power strip and now you can see my body is running 2.76 volts so that's two and three quarters of volts alright and I take my hand away and I'm back down to 841 millivolts now this is very interesting all I do is I put my hand near here I'm not even touching the power strip and you can see I'm at one and a half volts AC that's not exactly healthy for the body to be running all right now I'm gonna put my hand on the power strip right here so by being exposed to the electrical fields on the power strip you can see that my body's running over three volts and now right down here I'm just going to step on the, I'm not on it yet, but I'm going to step on the grounding pad and watch what happens when I step down on it. Immediately the electrical fields are grounded out of my body and my body voltage is at only 12 millivolts. Now I'm going to step off of this pad and just show you the same experiment here if I can. Well, I can't do it because I don't have enough hands, but I will show you that not getting my body exposed too closely to the uh, power strip or any other electrical fields you'll see that just the ambient electrical fields in this room are uh, almost 900 millivolts and so I touch this grounding pad right here I touch the grounding pad and it goes down to 15 millivolts roughly 15 millivolts alright so it's very important to be grounded while you're working at your workstation now right here you can see my body just in the ambient electrical fields is at about 900 millivolts and I reach over here near the electrical field of the desk lamp and I'm at one and three quarters volts which is quite substantial now I'm gonna step onto the grounding pad here and immediately you see even while I'm being exposed to the electrical fields here on the lamp my body voltage has gone down to 22 millivolts and now I stepped off the grounding pad and once again I'm going to touch the power strip 
that is three and a half volts that's a lot of AC electricity which is not normal for the body to be running and then I'm going to step on the grounding pad down here barefoot and immediately you can see that my body voltage goes down to 12 millivolts so the best thing to do when you're working at your workstation is just go to the earthing.com website or another website and get yourself a basic grounding pad to, they're about sixty dollars just get a grounding pad for the for the mouse or for your feet when you're working at your workstation thanks so much for watching